Hi there, ladies and gentlemen. I wanted to take an opportunity here, after I turn off my music, to um, share with you some basic cigar smoking tips. Now, if, you'll, if you watch my show, you see that I enjoy a good cigar. If you've seen any of my previous videos, you'll uh, see some other tips to curing or curing your humidor, caring for your cigars, and, uh, and getting set up. But, but this video, I want to talk about some of the things you do while smoking and some of the things you feel while smoking to improve the experience and to smoke it properly. Um, and the reason I'm recording this video now is because I'm smoking this cigar and uh, I started to feel nauseous. That doesn't happen all the time and it usually happens to new cigar smokers, but even established cigar smokers who have been smoking for a long time will sometimes feel nauseous and just get a little sick, you know? And I want to share with you some of my tips on how to reduce that feeling and, and just improve your cigar smoking experience. As you can see, I'm more than halfway through this cigar, and I'm still in the good the good part of it. But here's a cigar I smoked and dropped. Okay, well I can't find it. But I was gonna. Well, here's another one. Here's a cigar I smoked yesterday or a few days ago, and um, as you can see, I didn't finish it all the way. There's still a lot left, a little bit left. But it's, uh, it's much smaller than what I have now. And when you get to about here in the cigar, this is the roughest bit. And the reason for that is because as you've been smoking the cigar, all of the smoke has been flowing through the length of the cigar. And the leaves of the cigar have been accumulating a lot of the tar and the nicotine from the rest of the cigar, which makes this last bit the most potent. This is the most powerful part of the cigar. And many people can just plow right through it. I do regularly during the show. I'll, I'll get to the very last bit and throw it away. But uh, depending on where your body is at in the day, um, it can be so powerful and overwhelming that it makes you sick and it makes you nauseous. And uh, even a regular cigar, even in the good bit of it, can still make you nauseous for a number of reasons. I have found, at least for me, and I'm just sharing with you my experience in case it helps you, when I smoke too early in the day, I start to I, I, I tend to get uh, more nauseous sooner. I have found that the later in the day you smoke, especially after a big meal or after a normal sized meal, uh, that you're going to reduce the chance that you're going to feel nauseous or get sick from a cigar. Um, I also think that having a tall cup of water with you is really important. I'll, I'll share with you what I did today. So um, I'm trying to walk a little bit more and uh, I went out to the mailbox, which is way at the end of my driveway. And I thought, oh, it's a nice, beautiful, sunny day. Sure, it's only, you know, uh, two in the afternoon, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and light up a cigar for my, for my little walk. So I lit up my cigar and I went on my walk. And the walk was fine. I went there and back a few times to get mail, to stamp some mail and put it back. And when I got back from my walk, I was all right, but then I sat down and started to smoke my cigar, and instantly I felt this sort of knot rise up my esophagus and kind of sit right here. And in the back of my throat, I started to feel a little bit acidy, and I was a little queasy, and I knew, all right, I, I need to take a break. So I set this down, and I got my cup, and I didn't have any water. And I didn't want to go upstairs because then I'd have to remove all my baby gates, and I, I needed an I needed something to help me, so I ran outside, I turned on the faucet of my outside spigot, and I filled this up and I just took some quick draws. And it was an instant cure. It pushed down that feeling in my esophagus, it wetted my whistle, it just really made me feel a lot better. Um, and now here I am, just a few moments later, and I'm, I'm able to go back to my Sam cigar and smoke it and I'm feeling fine. Many cigar smokers will enjoy a nice uh, cup of scotch or whiskey with their cigar, and that helps for many of the same reasons. Even if you don't have a big, tall glass of water, having something wet to kind of wash down the taste of the cigar while you're smoking it can help you prevent, uh, can help prevent you from feeling nauseous or from for other, otherwise ruining the experience. Another thing that uh, novice cigar smokers will do is they'll try to smoke too quickly. 
especially if you've smoked something like cigarettes in the past. It's an entirely different experience. Cigarette smokers, they puff. They get onto their cigarette and they just puff, 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 and uh, they get that quick nicotine fix. Sometimes they don't even finish the cigarette and set it aside, and um, that's not how you smoke a cigar. So one way, the best way to avoid that nauseous feeling or to avoid getting sick or just to feel that big rush go through your body when you get that nicotine is to measure yourself and, or to pace yourself. Take measured puffs, one or two puffs every 60 seconds. This, it's not a race. You don't need to go anywhere. The point of a good cigar is that you've got some time on your hands. You're having a nice leisurely afternoon maybe with your friends, maybe reading a book, maybe doing something like recording a video or uploading something to YouTube or, or watching Netflix. You're, you're having a leisurely moment. You're not trying to get a nicotine fix. You're not in a race. You're just enjoying a long cigar over the span of an hour, an hour and a half, two hours even, however long you need to go. Now, the, uh, the, uh, established cigar smokers are watching me right now going, Oh, he's holding his cigar like this. Yeah, I know. You're not supposed to hold your cigar like that. Um, you're supposed to hold your cigar like this. But I find that when it gets pretty low like this, you're going to burn your fingers. So, convention aside, when it gets pretty low, I'll smoke it like this. Or like this. And I'm not taking huge puffs. I'm not going like, I'm just going. And that tends to give me just a little burst of smoke and then I set it aside. Just a little burst of smoke and then I set it aside. So just a quick little uh, video on some tips to cigar smoking to help prevent the nauseous feeling and to, to help you enjoy your cigars a little better.